Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Smock Alien. Yo, you need to quit smoking and start vaping. The same habit, but a different outcome is so amazing. No time to back up, just make a scene of flavor. So make the switch now and do yourself a favor. Hit our vape and juice the e six shop. Arrange your products, you in your budget, it never stops. No fake light of cigarettes. Hi Vapist, Darth Naga here with another episode of Full Steam Ahead. Uh, the content's not changed, but obviously the location has. I've got my little laptop screen here um, that I'm using because currently my front room is being used. Therefore, I can't actually do my videos in my front room today. So, I'm doing them from here. Um, this is my bedroom, or part of it, mine and the wife's bedroom. Um, st stuff's going on downstairs, so I'm not allowed in the front room. Uh, I've tried to make do as best I can in the bedroom, so obviously I've got my laptop screen here that you can see Vape and Juice's website on, uh, and yeah, Vape and Juice UK review, UK exclusive review, and I also know that they're one of the only people that have got these in stock at the moment, and that is the Smock Alien Kit. Uh, it's the newest dual 18650 mod from Smock, goes up to 220 watts, um, dual 18650, and it's absolutely fantastic. So I've been using it for about five days now. Let's dive down, take a look close up, then we'll come back up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty, let's go to the down view now. Okay, here we are up close and personal with the Smock Alien Kit from Vape and Juice UK. Uh, on the side, you've got your usual little scratch and sniff panel. Plus, this also tells you the type, uh, the colour you've got inside, but to be fair, so does the front of the box, as you can see. Mine is the gold version. Um, on the side, you've got um, QR codes for downloading a vaping app from Smock, and then you've got all the specs on the back. Um, specs such as the body's made of um, aluminium, it's, you know, the resistance, it goes right down, it fires down to 0.1. Um, fires down to 0 0.06 in temperature control mode uh, and this is the alien kit so this includes the alien mod well I'll tell you what I'll show you inside let's open this up okay and you've got the smock branded box there then you take this bit off and immediately you're met with the alien kit booklet to tell you all about the ins and outs of it if you're new to uh, if you're new to these sort of products this is a good place to start um, you've also got a warranty card for your kit and just a little bit about battery safety there from Smock. Okay, as you can see, oh, pack of silage gel, I shall eat that later on. Don't, don't actually eat that because they're really bad. <laughs> uh, here is the Smock Alien Kit, uh, this is in gold, so let me take the mod out and put that to one side. And what do you get underneath the little tray? But underneath you get your USB charging and updating cable, you can do both. Uh, your bag of spares, you've also got a couple of vape bands from Smock. Um, put that back in there. You've got the tank itself, the Baby Beast. Again, I'll be showing you that in a second, so let me just take that out and put that there. You have a spare glass for the Baby Beast. And you also have, let me try and get it out if I can fat fingers make it difficult you have a spare coil now um, this is a 0.4 coil uh, which is best at 40 to 80 watts uh, according to their blurb now this is what comes installed in the baby beast but also with it you get a spare um, V8 baby beast coil um, which is in there currently alrighty let me uh, put this away and I'll show you the tank. Okay, nice little quick close-up view. This is the Smock TFV8 Baby Beast. Um, standard sort of 510 drip tip connection. Just put that there. Uh, and then, it, to be fair, it's pretty much exactly the same as the Beast itself. So you can split the tank right down. That's the coil itself, the coil head. Uh, and that just simply screws into the base. As you can see, it's juicy because I have actually been using it. Um, so, and let me just show you the TFV8 coils. Now they say it's eight coils. Theoretically, it, it is. Th I suppose it is eight coils, but it's it's um, 
it's more like four parallel coils actually so and in the top there you've got the glass again that separates as well and you've got your chimney piece in there too very very straightforward setup um, the tank the top of the tank is held onto the bottom of the tank by the coil uh, to fill it you simply pop that open same as all the other TFV tanks drop her in there fill it up snap that across and you're rocking alrighty okay let me do a quick jump cut and we'll go to the mod itself okay so this is the mod itself as you can see it's uh, all metal construction you've got a very nice spring loaded 510 pin in there I have already tested it uh, you've got your clicky fire button there and you've got your up and down buttons just here on the front along with your USB port for charging and um, firmware upgrades now you can see this bit here uh, that's a bit of plastic I don't like taking off screen protectors until I absolutely have to uh, to keep them in as pristine condition as possible so basically this might get all scuffed up and then I'll be able to peel that off and it'll be brand new uh, you've got the venting at the top here those, those set of dots there on both sides as you can see uh, a little bit of carbon on the back personally I'm not a fan of carbon on mods I think it looks cheap and slightly chavvy but on this considering it's covered up by your hand most of the time you're not really going to notice it uh, unless you like the carbon effect in which case you'll love it I personally would have enjoyed that to be completely black but hey ho beggars can't be choosers um, okay so standard operation is five clicks on there you go, uh, and this tells you the firmware it's on. Now, interestingly enough, uh, one of the bugbears I did have with this, let me just put that there for a second uh, while I tell you, one of the bugbears I did have with this device was the firmware that it was previously on, i.e. the one that it ships in, ships with, um, the misfires would occasionally happen. So, say, one in six tokes, I found that I had to push the bar again because it just wouldn't fire when I pushed it. Um, I've since upgraded to the latest firmware, and that hasn't happened since. It's been perfect. Like literally, I upgraded the firmware, the new firmware, two days ago. I've been using this for like five days, and I upgraded to the new firmware two days ago, and it's been fine since. So, uh, as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of information. Let me just zoom in here. So here you go, info, bitch. No coil. See, that's what happens when it fires. So at the top here, you've got your 85 watts. You've got your N, which stands for normal strength. So uh, smock devices have soft, normal, and hard strength. Um, and that's for like the initial bang when you first take a puff. You've got your two individual battery meters just here. Uh, you've then got your reading of your volts. So what it's firing, what when, when you fire it, it tells you how many volts. Uh, your ohms reading, obviously. And it also this also tells you your amps. So how much amps you're kicking out when you're firing it. Uh, it tells you the mode here, and I'm in watt wattage mode at the moment. Uh, it tells you the temperature of the PCB currently at 25 degrees Celsius. So nice and cool. Uh, and puff so far, I've taken 514. This does round Robin, so it gets to 999 and then just resets to zero. Uh, and this little bar at the bottom is just a simple puff thing to tell you how long your last puff was taken for. Some of that information is awesome, some of that information is completely pointless, but you know what? It looks pretty, it's all arranged quite nicely, very futuristic looking on the screen. Um, if you fire it, obviously with nothing in, you get a no coil message. When you put a new tank on, let me just show you. It might not actually do it because I think this was the last tank it read anyway. Um, just put that on there. Go to fire and it does actually say new coil. Now, it does do this every time that I actually swap the coils over. So if I swap the coil over, I put on a tank with a lower rating or a higher rating, it will ask me new coil. And it does so every single time without fail. So, let's go, yes, it is a new coil because it is. Um, compared to the one I was using before. Again, you fire it, and you can see everything moves, the uh, little bar goes up and all that sort of thing. Now, you can, you can access the menu by tapping three clicks on this, but there is a quick menu now for two important things. If you press the up button, the plus button, and the fire bar at the same time, puts it into mode, into your so you can choose your memory mode, uh, your different modes. So you've got memory, wattage, and temp. Obviously, temp control is what it is. Um, let's go for memory. Okay. No, no, hold on. <laughs> let's go for wattage. There we go. So you just leave it, and it sets to it. Or you can just hold the fire bar down, and that will set it. The other button, if you press the minus and that together, 
it sets your strength, soft, hard or normal. I prefer soft, so let's go for that. Now, normal, soft, hard, as I explained five minutes ago, soft will just ramp up slowly, hard will, will give a massive surge of, uh, of power through it to get the coils hot as quickly as possible and then go down to your selected uh, wattage range. Normal is just, it just fires as normal. All right, let's go into the menu. Right, mode, power, so power, you go into that, hold it down, power, off, and that'll turn the device off, obviously. Okay, so you've got your mode, uh, mode, puffs, setting, and power. So if you go into the power I just showed you, if you go into mode, basically changes what it was, so you get temp mode, memory mode, watt mode, so I like it in watt mode. You can also use that to cycle, then hold it down. Strength, normal, hard, soft, I personally prefer normal. Bang, you're straight back in, okay? Into mode again. Uh, let's go for temp control mode. Uh, you can choose your strength. Uh, so that is, a, hold on, coil, TC, all the different temperature controls there, as you can see. In this case, let's go for stainless steel. Um, I don't actually know what that particular one means. <laughs> I think that's the um, ohm rating on the coil. But, uh, yeah, because it comes up 161. So, let's go back in. Uh, so there's your mode, your power, your setting, your puffs. So if you go into puffs, you, you put uh, max 1, 2. So you can actually set a max to have so many puffs. So you can actually limit yourself to how many you, you want a day. Which is great if you're trying to give up vaping altogether. But why would you want to do that? <laughs> um, go into settings. You've got the download mode, so you switch you, you um, switch that on, and then plug into your computer and bomb, bomb, bomb. Firmware update? Uh, no, not currently. So go into settings. You've got screen time. Uh, you can adjust your own ohms, contrast to the screen, and screen lock. I've turned the screen lock off completely because what that does is when you leave it for so long it comes back and it actually locks your fire bar and then you have to press it five times to unlock it uh, auto lock is currently off brilliant so there you go and you set your screen time which shows you how long which tells you how long the screen comes on for you can set it in like 10 20 30 40 50 seconds things like that um, and the only other option obviously you can adjust your own ohms which I find odd and it says it if you if you feel like the ohms don't match what you've wrapped, then you can actually adjust them to be what you have wrapped. Change the contrast of the screen, uh, which is basically the brightness of it, uh, and then you've got the download mode as well. So let me just go through screen time, stealth off, screen time 60 seconds. Okay, so that is literally the ins and outs of this mod. What we'll do is um, I'll quickly switch to an up view with the with my RDA on it with stainless steel, and we'll see if the cotton gets burnt. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so here we are. We've got the tsunami on a stainless steel Clapton coil, uh, set to 420 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the norm for um, cotton burning. And let's give this temperature control thing a test. You ready? Okay, I won't lie, there is a whisper smoke coming off it there, but let's have a look at the front when it happens. It's temp control pretty rapidly. Alright, now let's look at the actual cotton itself. Not even singed. That must be extra juice it was burning off there, because that is not even singed. Look at that. Not even singed completely white so yeah if there's one thing smoke have definitely got right it's their temperature control it works perfectly so I tell you what let's go to the up view I'm gonna fill up the tank give it a vape and tell you what I think already let's go to the up view now. okay here we are back in the up view with the smock alien kit um, let me just have a little vape As you can tell, <laughs> as you can see, it does blow the clouds. The Baby Beast is a fantastic little tank. 
and the only issue I've got with it is it doesn't hold enough juice but I suppose if you like the Baby Beast you'll buy the TFV8 if you want more space um, how does it compare to other tanks that I've used I find the Cleto 120 also from Vaping Juice um, has better flavour but um, as it comes as part of the kit it's a perfect little addition to this really uh, the mod itself, I had some teething issues on the in, on the shipping firmware, the firmware that it comes with. You might occasionally hear the fan on my laptop kicking off. Um, I, I had some issues with the firmware that it ships with, uh, with the fire bar not actually firing when you press it. It's called a misfire. Um, I had some issues with that. As soon as I did the upgrade to 1.2.2, none of those problems. All the issues I had with it went away. Well, that issue particularly. Um, this has been an absolute fucking workhorse. The batteries last a nice long time. The power it kicks out, I actually compared it to my Helb, and I've, I've kind of stopped using my Helb at the moment in, in favour of this, purely because this seems to kick out so much more power. I put my Cleto 120 on this, and at 100 watts it was too much, so I had to actually drop it down to 85 to actually get the same kick. So it makes me wonder if this can actually do 220 watts on two 18650 batteries. I've heard rumours on the grapevine that it actually can do realistic 220 watts, but I don't know. Um, all I know is it kicks out some serious power for what I need. It's it's got a just an absolutely stunning screen. I mean, look at that. Everything you need, all the information you need, is right there on that little screen, as I showed you in the close up. Um, battery venting, the little, the, ah, the only other little bugbear I had, let me show you, so to put batteries in this fucker, right, you've got to, because I didn't show you in the close up, so you've got to click this off, flip it up, and then your batteries come out like that, okay, now, this here does move around a bit, alright, it does wobble around, don't let that put you off, because it's purely because you've got to get it into the right position to click it in for your batteries, okay, once they're in there, no rattling, no nothing. It doesn't even move. It's solid, and there's no battery. There's no battery rattle, uh, button rattle, or anything on this. Listen, nothing at all. No rattle, no nothing. Simple five clicks on because I took the batteries out. Smart 1.2.2. Uh, Alien. Alien on the screen there. On the screen. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with it. To be brutally honest, five days of use so far. Oh, new call out. <laughs> and it chucks, absolutely chucks, and the flavour is spot on. I've got some, um, I've got some, oh god, what's it called? Smoking barrel e liquid in here, the, uh, the berries one, and it's really, really good. And in this, you can really taste everything. So yeah, that is the Smock Alien Kit, and from what I've been told by other people, it's actually really hard to get in the UK at the moment, it's selling out everywhere. But, I do know that Vape and Juice UK, let me just put their website across there, Vape and Juice UK actually have them in stock, and the kit itself, on the high street, is 70 quid. To be fair, you know, for the tank and the mod, the whole kit is 70 pounds. Um, you can also go to their website, which I just showed you a minute ago, Vape and Juice UK, you go on there, you can buy it on there for 70 quid, or like I say, if you go on their website and click on the um, click on the bit that says uh, contact us or about us, um, that takes you to the page that shows you where all the shops are. So if you're in the North London area, get yourself along to Vape and Juice UK and pick one of these beautiful little smock alien kits up right now for 70 quid. They come in a myriad of colours. I've got the champagne gold one. Uh, they come in blue, red, black, gunmetal. Uh, I think there's an all stainless steel silver one as well that's not got black, a black casing. Um, and yeah, absolutely fantastic mod. Uh, I've never really gotten into smock devices before. I've tried the H Priv and that was nice. But this is just absolutely fantastic, honestly. Really, really nice bit of kit. Feels good and solid in the hand. It's not. It's not gonna. You know. It's not gonna. Uh, it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. And I've compared it to my Hell, and it's tiny. Look at the size of it. Dual eighteen six fifty, and it's absolutely tiny. So yeah, absolutely perfect for what you want it for. 
uh, dual 18650 battery mod, great workhorse, I love it, and I'll be using it in all my reviews coming forward. So, yeah, well done Smock, and well done Vape and Juice for, for, you know, for getting in this item, that's absolutely fantastic. If you go to vapeandjuice.co.uk, I'll put that across there, and you'll be able to go and pick one up, one kit, the whole kit up, like that, for 70 quid. It comes in a beautiful box, look at that. Okay, right. That's about it from myself, Darth Naga, Vape and Juice UK, and this has been an exclusive Vape and Juice UK review. Alrighty? Okay, if you like this content, please like, share, and click to subscribe to the channel above. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Okay? Until then, my little vapists, I think the only thing left to say is toot toot, motherfuckers, toot toot. Yo, you need to quit smoking and start vaping The same habit but a different outcome is so amazing No time to back go, just nicotine and flavor So make the switch now and do yourself a favor Hit our vape and juice the e-sync shop Arrange your products, doing your budget, it never stops No fake lives, cigarettes